Hey guys, I'm Chuck and welcome back to Old Southern Kitchen and Garden. Today I was going to cook a corn mock shoe. A lot of you will not be familiar with what corn mock shoe is. Basically, it is a Creole and Cajun dish that's known mostly throughout Louisiana. It was actually a dish that was brought through with the Native Americans and the Cajuns when they got together and cooked. What it is basically is a mashup between a cream style corn and a whole kernel corn. What you're gonna do is saute vegetables. Then once they are tender, you're going to add in corn and a little cream, which will mimic the flavor of corn milk. And you let it saute down till everything is nice and tender and well seasoned. So let's get started. In the pot, I have a little bit of butter that has been melted. And as with any southern kitchen, we're also gonna add a little bit of bacon grease because as Kel said, you can't go wrong with bacon grease and everything. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is saute your vegetables. I have one medium finely diced onion here and a mixture of orange, red, and green bell pepper just to add some color that'll pop with the yellow of the corn. So we're gonna throw all this in here and we're gonna let it saute down. And while this is sauteing, what I'm gonna do is grab the camera and bring you in closer so you can see what's actually happening in the pot. I'll see you in one minute. So what I've done is sauteed the onions and bell peppers and a little butter and bacon grease until they're just starting to get a little translucent and somewhat tender. They don't have to be totally cooked at this time because you will be simmering this for about 20 to 30 minutes to allow everything to cook down till it's all tender. I'm gonna add in some garlic because we like garlic in everything that we cook. You don't wanna cook garlic too long because it will burn fast. So we're just gonna let it basically come to heat until you can actually smell the flavor of the garlic. And then to the pot, I'm gonna add two pounds of frozen corn. This is a meal my mom used to make all the time for us growing up, and she always used fresh corn. But when it's not in season or you don't have any growing right now, you can always use a frozen corn. It's the closest taste you'll get to an actual fresh cob of corn. This was one of my mom's favorite meals. She would buy a bushel of corn and we would husk it all and she would make a large pot of it and it was always in the freezer from when we wanted to eat. Just the colors of this dish are beautiful. And then for seasoning, I'm gonna add a little salt, pepper, and garlic, which is main seasoning for everything we cook down here in the south. And now I'll let that come to heat. It should not take that long. Now that the corn's come up to temperature, I'm gonna add one last thing that my mom never did add. But it's something we add to pretty much everything. A few red pepper flakes, just to give it a little kick. And the last thing we'll add is milk. I'm gonna add evaporated milk because it gives a more condensed milk flavor. I'm gonna add the whole can to this two pounds of corn. What you're gonna do is let that come up to a simmer. It's gonna simmer for about 20 minutes. The milk will reduce some more and give a thick sauce to this corn. You do wanna continue watching it throughout the cooking process because you don't want it to scorch to the bottom of the pan. You will put it on a medium to low heat and let it slow simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. And we'll come back when this is done and I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, we're back. The corn has been simmering for 20 minutes. And it's nice and thick. Tender to the touch. Get a bowl of it out here so you can see.
good thing to remember is this doesn't have to only be a side dish. If you add some chicken chunks or smoked sausage or seafood, you could serve it over rice and make it an entire meal. I hope you give this recipe a try. As I said, it's a staple in Louisiana households and it's a perfect dish that can go with anything or even be created as a meal. If you like this video, please take a minute and subscribe to our channel and like the video. Also, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram under the same name. Please leave a comment if you try this recipe so we know if you've liked it. As always, thanks for joining us and I'll see you again soon.